you look at the statistics and it's like, well, we need to stop sprawling, right, as a species. We need to densify, we need to concentrate, we need to live like more softly on the planet, right, more gently on the planet. And to do that, we need to incentivize people to want to live and work in cities. And to do that, they have to be livable. And so that was kind of like my big picture thing was like why I went back to school and city planning and real estate development was I wanted to find a way to make cities more livable uh, so that we could, and I know this sounds kind of cheesy, but like as a species, like retract a bit and live like more gently on the planet and use our resources more wisely and hopefully, you know, find a bunch of other ways to stop, you know, creating more greenhouse gas and all that, all that stuff. So that's kind of my original inspiration. And I do believe that. And I do think that's really important. And that does inspire me to like get up every day and do what I do. Because these are long range projects. These are not something that I do, you know, today and in six months it's done and I move on. Like they take years of effort to get done. Sometimes I wonder like, am I having the good impact or not? Am I making, you know, cities more livable? But now I have an opportunity to work on these sites that are literally like vestiges of you know fossil fuel technologies that are really thankfully going the way of the dodo and we're learning to you know um, develop new technologies that are more sustainable and I love the opportunity that I have to work on those sites so that's one but I would just say that the older I get the more I'm faced kind of with my own <laughs> finiteness and so now I think a lot more about the people like I still want to see those places built and those destinations for the people to inhabit and to work in, but I also think about the people who are around me. And now I have a team and I think a lot about how can I help them get to the next like stage of their development and how can I maybe like give them some clues and sit back and let them figure it out and let them do it. Uh, because they're gonna they're gonna be here when I'm gone, and they're gonna teach other people, you know, when they're gone, or teach people, and then they'll be gone. But like, just to create a better um, trajectory, I guess, like a more longevity of of that way of thinking, and so that inspires me.